All right, what we're going to look at here is the solid geometry of this cone. And uh, what we need to do is to section it through this cutting plane over here. Right, what I've done here is I've split the, the uh, base of this thing up into the 12 parts using my set square. You can see the 30 degree there, 30 degree there, a 60 degree there, and a 60 degree over there. And obviously you've got the two center lines. Right. Numbering it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay? And I've transferred those numbers up onto this plane over here. Number 1, 2 and 12 are in line with each other. 11 and 3 are in line with each other. 10 and 4 in line with each other. 9 and 5 in line with each other. 8 and 6 in line with each other. And 7 is at that end over there. I'm also going to label the apex of this thing as 0. There's my 0 at the apex over there. Right, once we've got that, we're going to start out and we're going to look at where the cutting plane is on this top view over here. Remember, if I'm a little eagle over here, flying above it, I look down and I'm going to remove that part over there. Seeing that cutting plane, what is it that I'm going to see over here as my cutting plane? Right, how do I go about doing that? Well, I'm going to drop some lines down from, you see where that cutting plane is cutting through the base over there? And I'm going to label that point, let's call it A and B over there. Right, once I've got those two points, I'm going to come along here and I'm going to say, well, the cutting plane, does it cut through any lines coming from 2 and 12? Let's just draw a line in at 2 and 12 up to the apex. There we go. 2 and 12, uh, sorry, there's 2 and 12. Let's not get that all confused. There's 2 and 12 over there. You can see the cutting plane has nothing to do with this line 2 and 12 or 1 and um, uh, one and 0, 2 and zero, 2 and 0 and 12 and 0. It's not cutting through that. Right, what we do need to have a look at is where it cuts through at this line 3, 0 and 11, 0. Let's just label those two points, okay? We know that there are two lines, 3, 0. Let's call that point C over there. And 11, 0, let's call that point D over there. Right, let's take a line down from those two points that I've just mentioned. And you can see that it cuts through 3, 0, which we're going to call C. And we're going to go to 11, 0, and we're going to call that D over there. So I've got a point on this line going up to 0. I've got a point on this line going up to zero. Right, and I've labeled it C. Right, the next one is this point over here at, um, <coughs> at where four and four zero and ten zero, let's call that E and F. Now there's a bit of a problem over here because, well, I can't take a measurement, I can't find where it cuts through that because it's coming straight down over here. But I do know that this is a regular cone. So how do I find that point over there on this line? Well, I know that this line over here, 7, 0, is parallel to the x, y axis in this view over here. Therefore, I've got a true length of line 7, 0. If I take a line coming across over here, I take a line, let me just get a pencil line coming across over there and I drop that down until it touches 7 0 the distance that I have from the center to that point over there will be the point that I'm needing on the line 4 0 to find E so I can label that as E and I can turn that around and come down here, and that distance over there will give me F. Right, now that I've found that point and that point, let's continue. I can drop a line down from 5, 0 and 9, 0, and we'll label those two points G and H. Okay, G and H. We're going to say that G is on 5. There's line 5, 0. Let's label that as G. 
And this one on 90, let's label that as H. Right. Um, let's go to the line 6, 0, and 8, 0. There they are. Let's label that I and J. Let's come down here. We say that I is on 6, 0, and J is on 8, 0. And finally, we come along here, and we have where it cuts through 7, 0, and that is K. I'm going to drop a line coming down from there onto 7, and I can label that as K. Right. Once I've got that in place, I can then draw in my cutting plane. Just going to just take little dashes. I find little dashes work really well when you're doing this sort of stuff. Little dashes coming around, linking up all of these points that are down over here. Coming around, and I've got to go down to B. There we go. There we go. Right, so there we go. There is my Cutting plane. I can now darken that in. Just going around over those little dashes that I made over there. And I can do that going around like that. Pull that in dark. I can hatch that area very quickly with my 0.3 pencil. I know that I'm using a 0.7 pencil at the moment, but you guys must use a 0.3 pencil. I'm just saving some time here. Get that spacing equally using the either the bevel on your ruler or the little markings on your ruler. And once I've done that, I can then take my pair of compasses and I can darken in this construction line circle that I drew at the beginning. Make that nice and dark. Coming around. And there it is. Do that nice and dark coming around there. And there we go. We have got our drawing done. Let's just take that round all the way until it reaches A over there. And there we go. That is the top view done correctly. The next uh, drawing that I'm going to do is to show how I get that, um, that left view over there. Right.